Hey, welcome back to another great RC Wars video. Chris here, and today we're gonna show you how to take an Aranko MVP panel uh, and change it from the default timed dose mode to the demand dose mode setting. So let's just jump right into it. All right, so this is super simple. First thing that we're gonna to wanna to do before we power things up, there's a terminal link right here that's between three and four. We're gonna to wanna to pop this guy out for demand dose operations. So just sticking the screwdriver in, we can kind of pry that out a little bit. Let's see if I can grab a hold of that with a pair of pliers now. All right. There we go. So we got our terminal link out. A little easier maybe if the panel was mounted to a post or something. But anyhow, so we've got that terminal link out from three to four. We're gonna go ahead and turn on our controls. So this is gonna be the first screen that's generally gonna show up. It's gonna show your float statuses, etc. So what we're gonna to wanna to do to get to the demand dose setting is hit the down arrow until we stop going down. So now we see the date, time type of a deal, and that's flashing. We hit the escape button to get, I guess we had to hit it a couple times there, um, to get to this orange screen, which then we need to go down one time to program, hit OK, and then we're gonna go down, 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 down to the very bottom, or just press up once apparently, uh, to where it says time dose mode. Hit OK on that. Hit OK to edit that. You'll see the flashing black square. We change that to off. OK. And then we can hit escape four times. And now we're back to that screen. And we could, if we wanted to, go all the way back up to where we started. All right, so it's as simple as that to change your Arenko MVP panel from time dose to demand dose or vice versa should you need to. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos like this, and uh, we will catch you next time.